Hello everyone, Seth Mayo here from the Lowman Planetarium. And I'm with you uh, on this lovely Friday afternoon, March 27, 2020, with one of our Lowman Planetarium telescopes. And uh, I'm out here because we're actually trying to observe the sun safely with our solar filtered telescope here, which I'll explain uh, in just a bit how that works. Um, but this week we've been celebrating National Solar Week. And this is a week to celebrate all things the sun. And we've been linking uh, to various professionals that can talk about the sun. We've been providing activities, uh, talking about all the great uh, spacecraft and observatories that are studying the sun in various ways, either in space or on the ground. There's a lot of great uh, research being done of our nearest star to us. And the more we learn about our sun, the more we can understand how it affects us on Earth and also helps us understand how stars work in the universe. So. The reason why I have our scope out here today is to kind of cap off Solar Week with a solar observing session, but not just any solar observing session. It turns out that the ISS, the International Space Station, that's carrying people in low Earth orbit around the Earth, will be flying past the sun. It's called a transit. And you can look these transits up. There's a website called ISS uh, Tracker or Transit Tracker and you can find your location if there is a transit occurring in your location or viewed from your location, either the, the ISS crossing the sun or crossing the moon. And it's a very cool thing to kind of line things up. And it just so happens, not far from the muse museum here in uh, Port Orange, Florida, we uh, happen to have one uh, at precisely 5.03 uh, on March 27th, this Friday. And luckily it's a sunny day. Hopefully the clouds won't block our view. There's a few clouds here, but uh, we'll keep our fingers crossed. Now, how do we do this safely? Because, of course, you never want to look at the sun uh, without any protection, uh, especially if you're looking at it through a telescope, right? You always want to consult a professional or have the right equipment to do so, because you can't just point a telescope towards the sun and look through it, because it would burn your eyes and damage your eyes, and we don't want that, of course. So, what we have here on the top of the telescope, or really in the opening or aperture of the scope, we have something called a solar filter, which is basically this big mirror, kind of acts like a, uh, uh, a welder's mask. It filters out most of the light from the sun. So uh, it's not as energetic when the light from the sun comes through the telescope, out through the back, and then through the eyepiece so we can look at it safely, uh, and that, which is a really cool sight to see. So fortunately we have this great solar filter attached to the scope protecting uh, my eyes here. And what we're gonna try to attempt to do is take this camera that I'm using now and we're gonna attach it to the back of the telescope and we'll take a, a video of the ISS crossing the sun. Now keep in mind, ISS crosses really fast. Uh, it's moving at about 17,500 miles per hour around the Earth. It goes around the Earth every 90 minutes. It's about 250 miles above our Earth's surface. Uh, and across the sun, it crossed the sun in, in this instance today in about 1.25 seconds. So it's pretty much a blink of an eye for the most part. So we're gonna try to take video of it. We'll do a little countdown towards it. And then uh, once it happens, maybe I'll get some screen grabs or take some frames from the video. We can get individual frames of the ISS in front of the sun. And the sun will be about 49 times bigger than the ISS in the frame. Of course, in real life, the sun is way bigger than us and especially the International Space Station. But from our point of view, the sun will look about 49 times, close to 50 times bigger than the ISS. So hopefully we'll get this video and uh, set up and uh, looking through the scope nicely and uh, we'll get uh, the ISS crossing the sun. So we'll be back in just a moment, I'm gonna hook this camera up to the telescope. All right, we're now connected to the telescope. The camera is firmly attached and we're just uh, a minute and a half away from this transit. So hopefully we'll capture it. We'll see how it goes, but you'll see it cross the sun uh, pretty much through the middle of the sun. So we'll get a really good crossing here. And right now we're just over a minute away. This is at 5.03, pretty much precisely. And again, when it crosses the sun, the International Space Station, well, this tiny little black dot basically crossing really, really quickly. And it's gonna cross in about 1.25 seconds. So we're now about 55 seconds away. 
is keeping track with a watch here. And sorry for the shakiness, it's a pretty gusty, windy day, so the telescope's gonna shake a little bit, so hopefully it doesn't gust too much while we're doing this. We'll make sure the view is in place here. We'll kind of get it, there we go, centered pretty much. And we're close to about 30 seconds away. A few little adjustments here and there. Hopefully again, it's not too, too windy when it happens, but that's okay if it is. At least we'll get uh, some of it. All right, so we're about 15 seconds away if our time is right. And I could be off a few seconds here or there. 10 seconds. All right, five, four, three, two, one. There it goes. Oh, we did it. All right, I don't know if you saw, it was really, really quick. We saw the ISS cross the sun so fast, but it's amazing that little black dot has people on it, astronauts, real life astronauts on that. They just cross the sun from our point of view. So wow, everything worked out perfectly there. That was really, really awesome to see it. And uh, again, we're sh shooting this through our telescope with a solar filter attached to it so we can look at the sun safely um, because there's a lot of energy coming from the sun. And if I didn't have a solar filter, it'd burn out my camera instantly uh, or your eye if you're trying to look at the sun through a telescope. So always practice safe uh, sun viewing, again, with the proper equipment or uh, getting advice or help from a professional. Um, but we're, we're successful here. And uh, again, this is to cap off our solar week that uh, we're celebrating at the museum and uh, part of uh, what we're promoting through the Loman Planetarium. We've got a lot of cool content uh, coming at you. And uh, stay tuned for more of the uh, the events that we're doing, the more of the uh, digital events remotely that we're doing uh, in, in various ways uh, throughout our museum. So anyway, glad we could capture this together, watching the ISS cross the sun here in uh, March 27, 2020. Really excited that we got it and uh, maybe we'll get a few frames from this too that are going to look really cool. Take care, happy Friday, and hopefully we'll see you again soon.